L'ambientalista canadese, uno dei più grandi esperti di grizzly, passò 11 anni nel sud della penisola russa Kamchatka, dove salvò ed allevò numerosi cuccioli orfani di grizzly. Grazie a lui quella zona è diventata un bene protetto dall'UNESCO e qui al Film Festival di Trento per presentare un film che documenta un anno della sua vita incredibile insieme ai suoi orsi. È veramente un enorme piacere averlo qui con noi, Charlie Russell. It's a great pleasure to have you here with us today. Thanks for having me. Mr. Russell. And what an incredible doc, uh, documentary about, uh, about your life. Uh, compliments for your work. Thank you. Now, I believe you took the place of, of a mother for those <laughs> cubs. <Yeah. laughs> Just how you describe yourself. Mm -hmm. They're a surrogate mother. When, where and how did you learn to be a bear mother? Um, well, it was, I went to Camp Jack and not to do that. Uh, I, I just wanted to live with bears to see uh, if it was possible because I wanted to understand if they really were uh, unpredictable and, and dangerous if they lost fear of people uh, because this has been a big problem for bears as it is here right now and uh, and so I wanted to understand these questions to live with many bears where their experience with with me was the only experience they would have because I didn't trust other people's input because we're so difficult with bears. Our fear is a real problem and and uh, so it was a it was a very special opportunity there. But it, while I was there I, I realized that there were these orphaned cubs that that were, were just in the zoo while they were very small and and, and and I I started rescuing these cubs. Now the movie's called The Edge of Eden, li Living with Grizzlies. Have you um, discovered what that edge is? I mean, how far can the man bear friendship or relationship go? I, I experimented with the edge, uh, but I realized that if I ever got hurt or, or killed, uh, it, would, uh, it would just add to the problems of the bear. So I was always cautious about that, but this edge is, is not like we thought. I, I, it seems so amazing that especially the female bears, they, uh, they, they can really learn trust. If they, if they decide they trust you, uh, it's almost, they protect you. Uh, it's, uh, you can't hardly do anything that upsets them. The motherly instinct comes out, of mm -hmm. course, in the females. How did you deal with the sorrow of having to part with them? I found that heartbreaking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, it's, uh, the, I wanted them to be independent, and uh, so I helped them when they were young and vulnerable, but as soon as they uh, needed, needed their independence, I couldn't look after them for, for very long. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, it was, it was heart rendering, all right, to, to say goodbye to them, but uh, very necessary. They weren't my pets. They were, they were my uh, project to to teach to be independent, and they learned very quickly, or, or they they knew it really. Yeah. But but that didn't stop them from being very affectionate too. Some, but that varied. Certain bears were uh, standoffish, and uh, other other bears. Uh, in various ways wanted contact, very close contact. It's like people, they have their own personality. Yeah, Each bear, it, was, yeah. it was amazing to see that difference. Now you've left Russia, you're back at home in Canada and you're carrying out your work now. Are you teaching your fellow Canadians not to tell tourists <laughs> <laughs> like myself to be afraid of bears? Is that what you're... I want, uh, you know, people keep thinking that I should study keep studying bears but I, I've done this for fo over 40 years and, uh, and my project was to try to get people and bears to, to live better together and and so now I know bears are not the problem it's we are the problem and uh, and I'm looking at whether we are sophisticated enough to do our part in this uh, equation and and so yeah I uh, so I'm working with people now, and uh, it's it's not quite as much fun as being in the wilderness, but but there are great rewards for it too. So. Yeah.
Well, thank you very much, Charlie Russell. It was great to meet you, and good luck, and compliments again for the movie and for everything you've done with Bears. I'm going to go back to Canada and make amends. Yeah, <laughs> good idea. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.